A bittersweet graduation ceremony tonight at Miami Ad School. The graduates took time to honor their classmate who was shot this week in Wynwood, and he Skyped in from his hospital bed. CBS 4 Tiani Jones is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital where that new graduate is now recovering. Tiani? Well, Frank Hammer's friends are probably out celebrating graduation while he sits inside this hospital with a bullet still inside of him. In spite of all of this, his family says they're just grateful he's alive. Hey everyone, um, I just want to tell you all I'm 100% fine. Uh, everything's going to be all right. Attending graduation would happen via Skype for Frank Hammer. As his classmates received their certificates from the Miami Ad School, he was in a hospital bed. It's better, I'm a little bit swollen. Recovering from two gunshot wounds, his doctors say he's lucky to be alive. In some other place in the world, he may not be here. He's only here, he, he lost a lot of blood at the scene. Friday evening, his parents, visiting from Sweden, accepted his diploma on his behalf. In spite of all they've gone through, they express gratitude to the Miami Ad School and their son's classmates. Hammer was walking back to school Tuesday night after finishing dinner with his parents in Wynwood. He says he immediately knew he was in trouble when two men approached him near Northwest 2nd Avenue and 26th Street. This one guy comes up to me with a gun drawn next to me and uh, he's telling me to take out my stuff, put everything on the floor. When he refused to give up his wallet. And the other guy says something like, uh, blast him or pop him. Uh, and uh, the guy with the gun fires two bullets. As Hammer heals in the hospital, he says he still loves Winwood, but hopes his story acts as a reminder to stay on guard. Hopefully now people are going to be more careful about going in groups. Hammer's classmates have helped raise thousands of dollars to help pay for his medical expenses. As for the two men that shot him, police are still looking for them. And they say if you have any information to call Crime Stoppers, you can reach them at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting live from JMH, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News Tonight. Thank you, Tiani.